Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my full series review of Children of the Sea. This is by Daisuke Igarashi. It is a bit of an older Viz release. I think it came out in like 2010 or so, early 2010s. Um, and these are two-in-ones. Now there are actually five of these two-in-ones. I don't own the first volume, but I read it a couple of years ago from my local library, and then I recently purchased the rest of the series because volume one was out of stock um, on chapters. So I purchased the rest of it so I could read it, and I will go back and purchase volume one. I have read it though. I just don't own it, so that's why you're only seeing four, the final four volumes. Um, but so five two-in-one volumes from Viz in their really, really beautiful Viz Sig uh, editions. You can see the kind of embossing um, on the cover. It's got French flaps. They all have some color pages which are absolutely stunning. Um, there are color pages throughout as well, some of the volumes, which is really nice. But uh, yeah, excellent, beautiful, heavy releases from Viz. So, I mean, they're a little bit, I mean, they're actually not, yeah, I mean, Canadian, they're only $20, which uh, these days you're paying $20 for a single volume of like Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction, which is tiny and thin. So for a two-in-one of this quality, 20 bucks is not bad. Um, but uh, yeah, Children of the Sea. This does have an anime release, a film that came out recently, I believe. I haven't seen it. Um, but from what I've heard, it's, you know, beautiful, stunning, but also confusing. And that, I mean, is it are the words I would use uh, to describe the manga as well. Uh, beautiful, stunning, confusing. Um, but I think it's more kind of the ambience of it, the, uh, the artwork, the, f the general feeling of and the vibe of the series that's important. And I, I think that I... You know, I, I got something from this when reading it, and I know that I will get something probably different from it when I read it again. And for series like this that are a little more, um, kind of, you, you interpret them, it doesn't explicitly tell you what's happening all the time. Uh, you need to kind of infer what's going on. You know, for those kind of things, sometimes the reread is, is more, uh, explanatory to you than, than the first time through. Um, but basically, this story revolves around uh, these two boys. Uh, this is Sora on volume two here, and this is Umi on volume four. And they were they are children of the sea. They were born in the sea, um, and they, they live there. And basically, these kind of marine biologists and scientists and whatnot are studying these two as well as the other children of the sea just generally to figure out who they are like what where do they come from what what does their existence mean and you know how does their existence play a role in you know the rest of the ocean um and so it's a bit strange it's not a bit it's very strange um because also marine life is disappearing throughout the world whether it's in aquariums or actually in the ocean or wherever marine life is literally like a light is flashing and 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 things are disappearing so like a whale just disappears a shark disappears fish in the tank at an aquarium are disappearing in front of people and so there's a confusion about this and how, how if at all, is this related to these two kids um, and the fact that they're no longer, that they're like on land rather than in the sea and being studied and our kind of main character is this girl here, uh, Ruka. She is the daughter of um, a guy who works at one of these marine biology slash aquarium situation. So she's met these two boys and is very intrigued by them, seems to be connected to them somehow, but she doesn't really understand the pull that she's feeling towards them. Um, yeah, it's kind of a battle between some different 
uh, scientists who are trying to get a hold of these boys and trying to, you know, further their research beyond other people's. Um, and it's all, it's a very interesting dynamic because you have these kids who are clearly different, who are strange and human-like, but not entirely human. You have our, you know, human girl, main character, who is very pulled towards these boys, but doesn't really know why. Um, and then you have these adults who are just so intrigued by these, these children of the sea that they're kind of losing sight of what's best for them and, and getting a little greedy and a little bit, um, overprotective and, uh, just being sort of negligent almost of their well-being because they're so obsessed with getting results for their scientific research um, that they put some of these kids at, at risk um, in order to further advance their knowledge. Um, it's not super, like the series isn't like overly violent or gory or anything like that. In fact, it really isn't at all. But you know, you just get the sense of like these adults and their their own thoughts and feelings wrapped up in this situation and, you know, versus the children who are, uh, you know, dealing with that, the adults and their kind of selfish whims. Um, it's very interesting and just really beautiful. The art is just, at, like, obviously you can see from the covers is stunning, but the inside as well is just very beautifully done. Uh, there's so much full page spreads of just marine life and gorgeous. The character designs are obviously very different. Like, this is a different looking manga, um, but it's just so unbelievably gorgeous. And all of the marine life is so well drawn. Um, the ocean scenes, the water is, is just incredible. Um, and our final volume is almost entirely images. Uh, there's very little text. And a lot of it is just like full page spreads of just images and the eyes in this series are so beautifully done. Um, like the, the, the saying, the eyes are the window to the soul, just feels very relevant to this series because there's a lot of close-ups of, of characters' eyes and you just see into them. And it's like such a deep kind of picture, even though it's just an eyeball. Um, but yeah, there's I'm trying to find some more just color images throughout the the series because I know that there are some uh, in between. But yeah, it's I highly recommend Children of the Sea. I'm not you know gonna sit here and tell you that this is the best story that's ever been told or that you're gonna feel uh, or that you're gonna be like wow this is so gripping and and you know whatever. But because it's kind of confusing as I mentioned, but this art is so breathtaking and the vibe of it, like you're just left kind of feeling sort of moved by it, um, even though you may not entirely know why you feel so moved and, and emotionally just like attached to what's happening. Um, but yeah, like it's really, it's a really incredible story and I, I am interested in seeing the the film because I'm just uh, curious what it adapts because this is such a slow paced story that's very kind of image heavy I'm just interested to see you know what the film chose to adapt and what parts it found important because there's also a lot of like uh past there's a lot of like uh jumping around timelines of going to the past and how you know these children of the sea have kind of originated and and whatever um and how different characters interacted 
throughout periods of their life with these with these children um but uh yeah stunning 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 series highly recommend picking it up if not to just stare at this incredible artwork it's really gorgeous and i will definitely be rereading this in the future um it's just captivating and the whole time i'm reading it i'm going i don't know entirely what's happening um but for some reason i just can't put it down and honestly to me that's a win because like i said if i don't get something the first read through I'll read it again as many times as I need to, and each time you you typically pick up something that you didn't pick up on the time before. And so, especially since I it's been about two years in between reading the first volume and the rest of the series, you know, once I purchase volume one and have that, if I can read through the whole thing again entirely in that way, I will probably just be better off uh, at, at understanding what, what happened. But um, yeah, Children of the Sea, highly recommend it. Uh, I believe it's all still in print, especially with the release of the movie. I think that it's still available, um, but it, like I said, it is an older Viz release, uh, so maybe get on it sooner rather than later, but uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.